Hi there, this is Webzier. In this video, I will show you how to play with the while loop in IntelliJ IDEA. I currently have a for loop that displays hello world four times. Now I can easily replace the for loop with a while loop. All I have to do is remove this first line here and say while here and just put the condition. Now notice that i is unknown here because the for loop used to create that for us but we will have to create it ourselves now so I'll just say int i equals to 0 at the top and don't forget to increment the value of i. Let me show you what happens if you don't. You click run, run hello world and notice that our program has crashed because i is 0, 0 less than 4 the condition is going to be true always. And therefore the while loop will never stop. Now this is called an infinite while loop. Ensure that you don't have this condition. Click close tab, disconnect the process and go back and perform the incrementation over here of i. Again click run, hello world and you should be able to see four different times on the output screen. Now I can also run the while loop as long as some condition is true. So I can go back here and in place of this i less than 4 I can put a variable called condition. Let's create this variable by hitting option return or alt enter on your keyboard and notice it says create the local variable condition. Just select that option and give it the value of true. This means the while loop will keep running. Remember that we need to change this condition to false at some point otherwise you will be doing the same infinite loop once again. So inside our while condition we can just say if i equals equals 10 or any other value for that matter let's make the value of condition as false so this would work exactly the same way which we discussed in the slide previously so there you go hello world is being printed 10 times and you have the condition finally becoming false now coming back to the same example which we ran earlier using nested for loops where we printed the asterisk we can replace the for with a while pretty easily. Let's take the outer for loop here and try to replace that with a while loop. All you have to do is remove this part that says for, write a while here and of course we just have the condition this time and we don't need anything else. Now obviously we need to tell what is i because it says cannot resolve symbol right. So let's go outside the while loop here and make i to have an initial value of 1 and that would work perfectly fine. But remember that i needs to increment. If you don't increment i, this condition is going to remain true forever and you will run into the infinite loop. And you can do this inside the outer while loop where you say i++. Now when you run the program, you should be able to see the same pattern being repeated. The same way you can replace the inner for loop with a while loop as well. So let me show you one shortcut for writing for loops and we can wrap this video. Now instead of typing everything, you can go to IntelliJ ID on the left hand side under preferences on the Mac or settings on Windows and right here under editor you have the section called live templates. Notice that there is this part called iterations. If you expand this, it says create the iteration for loop using for i. Let's see how we can use this. All we have to do is type for i on our editor over here. Let's say for i. And you have to hit return or enter on your keyboard. Once you do that, take a look at that. Just hit tab to move to the next item. Set the value of 3 here. Just hit return and you're inside the for loop. Now if you write s out, you can simply print things the way you want to. So this is how you can use a shortcut for for. So hopefully you guys have understood something about the while loop and the for loop. As part of the Googleables in this video, search for while versus for in Java on Google. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.